help me get up there a bit more. We've got 51 subscribers. I thought I had 52, but I'm up. So maybe somebody dropped off. Who knows? <laughs> I wish you'd come back. But anyway, um, this video, as I said, is, is a little different. It's not the haunted and it's not that. It's to do with scammers. And I'd like to talk about a Mosaji scam. Now, this has nothing to do with the real Mosaji. This is to do with a person portraying themselves out to be Mosaji. He recently has put a video up. Um, well, one of his videos, he mentioned it in the beginning of it, um, about a person called Alan Gray. Oh, Ga Alan Gary, I can't remember his one, something name like that. Anyway, the person is not, I don't believe is Alan Gary or Alan Gray, I don't think that's his real name. Um, and he also uses the Canadian Revenue Agency, I think it is, uh, or yeah, I think it's CRA, um, and uses the name Alan Roy. And that is an official... Canadian Tax Agency. Um, to start off with, I was responding to a video that Mo had put up. I gave a comment on there or something. Um, I might put something else now. I can't remember at the time. Be going, and I don't think I could find that now. Um, and I, cause I don't remember which video it was that we started this up on. But it was around October or the end of October. Um, he was very good at portraying himself, himself out to be Mosaji. I am being in another country, I'm a New Zealander, a Kiwi if you like, and everything in the States is probably foreign to me in some areas, not the very rare, and there are some rules that are the same. Um, I didn't know what your taxations were, I don't know your laws like that. Um, but anyway, we'll get started on how it all came about. So this is what I'm doing, This the reason I'm doing this is to prevent other people from falling into that same pit hole. Um, the person concerned, um, don't know his real name, never will, never will, we'll never find out who that was, started talking to me in a message that I'd um, commented to Mosaji on, and started to talk to me as if he was Mosaji. Um, I, as, as I say, I'd only just got into YouTube around September, October, and started to find these people, Mo, Omar, Omar was my first one, I think, that I came across, and then Mo and CJ Face and a few others of them, um, who I highly respect. Um, the, as I say, I was a bit green, a bit green, not totally green, but a bit green in this area of who's, who's who and what's what. Um, so he responded to messages that I had sent to Mo uh, in regard to video and might see one or two other things I don't remember but um, he started to come in on that angle and portray himself out to be Mo. He started to ask me about would I like him to come over here and do some collaborations with him and you know it would be good for me etc etc and I thought yeah you know I'm not into getting up there fast because getting up fast doesn't help you become a great YouTuber. You've got to work at it, and work is the thing that makes you who you are. That's how a lot of them have got there. They've worked at it, they've worked at it, and worked at it, and worked at it. I don't believe the quick way of doing things is the, is the right way to do it. So I thought, well, at least it'll give me a bit of a leg up, maybe. Um, that's all I wanted. I didn't want to get up to the top, because that's, as I say, it's work that gets you there. But I thought it might give me a bit of a leg up. So I thought, yeah, okay, this will be fun. And, you know, really looking forward to it. Um, then he started to take me across to his email account, um, which was uh, bookings at gmail.com um, or, or most, no, most RG bookings at gmail.com. But okay, let's say, but green, don't know, don't know what American, America is like, never been there before. So we say go in conversation as booking area. Then they sent me across to Hangouts, or he sent me across to Hangouts, so that we could talk over that side of things and use the booking one to do all the other stuff, the business side of stuff, as he called it. Anyway, um, in the Hangouts, he asked if I'd like to get some merch. I said that'd be great. Um, and I paid out 30 or 40 odd New Zealand dollars for merch. Um, so that was another bit of amount he got out of me. When this collaboration thing started off from his booking people, they wanted to confirm that I was really interested, etc. Well, that sounded logical to me. You want 
and um, prove who I was and stuff like that. So I thought, well, that's the only thing they've got out of me apart from the money is my um, proof of ID. Um, hopefully they'll never use it for anything else. Um, but knowing them sort of people, they do. Um, he he started to, in the e-bookings agency, they started to say, okay, this is what we want from you um, to prove that you are, and you are serious about what you're doing. So that was, I say, $700 New Zealand um, to help towards this, etc. It was a big, it was an explanation for everything, as usual. Um, I said, okay, I had to take a loan out, so I took a loan out a lot more than $700 because you can't take out a small loan unless it's the next day one which makes it harder to pay back. Anyway, um, from there it went to, um, I think there was another amount asked for but I can't remember what it was and then it went to the tax department coming into it. This is where this Alan Roy came in. Um, he, he had a letterhead, so they, they're easy enough to paste and copy, and he asked me for a um, for taxation for, I can't try and remember now, there was trip taxation for doing the video with Mo, it was something like that, I can't quite remember the full story on that, and there was another taxation for something else, for him flying out or something, it was a travel tax or something, they wanted me to pay for, and I thought, well, that sounds pro probable, so I did that, anyway, by the time I had ended up paying out for a few other things and then also for the holiday accommodation, not for the total amount, just for half, which half of it, I think it was half or something like that, or quarter, or quarter of it, um, I'm just trying to think, um, that's when my daughter started to say to me, hey, something's not right here mum, this is not adding up. So she started to jump on this Hangouts um, application that I was using and started to question this guy. Okay, if you are the real Mosaji, prove it, show us your ID. He wouldn't do it. And she kept and he kept saying, oh, you know, you're accusing me of this, that and the other and I'm the real Mosaji. And, uh, you know, he kept coming back at trying to say, and I just said to him, well, cut all the crap and, and show me your ID. That's all we're asking, you know. And this is when it started, okay, this this is ridiculous, this guy's obviously a scammer. And by now I, I'd, owed, um, I'd paid out three grand New Zealand, so it cost me a lot more. It's cost me about 10,000 all up and a bit more probably. Um, so my car's on the line for that too because I've had to use collateral. Um, these people don't have any any heart whatsoever as to what they're doing to people on the other end. These people have no um, concept of what they're doing to people on the other end, nor do they really care. I really hope, um, I've had to forgive this person because of my own beliefs. I've had to say I forgive you for what you've done to me. But in doing that, I hope they get coals heaped on their head, as it says in scripture and my belief. Uh, as you forgive them, this is what will happen to them. So I've let him loose, but he will suffer the consequences of his own actions, and this is what I released him for. Something's going to come back and bite him in the bum, and I hope it really does. Um, um, what else can I say about it? Um, just beware that this is how this person is operating. I think Mo's got onto him now, from what I understand of his last or recent video. Um, because he's mentioned the names that I've mentioned. I did send it to him and was hoping that he would pick it up and have a look at it. And he's got more authority than I had to deal with this person. And I'm really hoping that he got this person got dealt to. I went out to Hangouts not long after, it, um, about a couple of weeks back, to see if he was still there. And he's disappeared off the Hangouts page. So, Mr. Fake Mo Saji. How can you do that? I, I, I honestly don't have... An understanding of how people can do this to other people how can you rip off people how can you do that and have a clear conscience for the rest of your life you'd have to be a very cold-hearted nasty person to do this and to take people's money um, and then also to falsify that you're somebody you're not it's it's like okay what's your real gender behind this besides taking people's money do you really wish you were Mosaji? maybe it's jealousy who knows <laughs> 
but anyway, um, the the effects of this have, have been quite harrowing for me um, in the sense I got really hurt by it. Um, I was quite upset at myself too that I'd been fooled like this. Um, with COVID coming on too, it cut my hours back when it was a fight and a battle to keep my car, etc., which was collateral, as I said. Um, but the companies over here are reasonably understanding and they know what's going on and they know that these things are happening, you know, and everybody's affected by it, not just me. Um, so I've been lucky in that regard. I've come through and I've come through COVID in, that, in the sense that we're still under level 2.5, but um, uh, things have changed for me um, in that regard, uh, in financial regard. Um, yeah, as I say, my main reason for sending this video out is so that people will not be caught by this person again if he tries to tries it on again. Um, when we when we really found out who that when we found out this was a scam, boy did he cop it from my daughter. <laughs> I won't say what she put in her uh, message to him, but yeah, my one of my daughters is very very protective of her mother, and um, she got very angry about it. Um, not only would the other ones would too, I guess, if, if they were shown what happened. Um, as I say, please don't fall for this. Make sure you're talking to the official person. Um, I understand there's a few of them out there now trying on trying it on Omar and trying it on CJ. Um, I don't know about any of the other ones, but those are the ones I mentioned at the moment. Don't fall for it, whatever you do. They don't do collabs. They don't... They don't ask for money from people. They don't need money from people. That's why they don't ask for it. Um, so, yeah, that, that's about it, I guess. Um, I could show you some of my proof, um, but I don't have a lot of it left. Um, I did delete Hangouts, and I went back on to see if he was still on there, and that's when I found out he wasn't. So I can presume that Mom got hold of him and threatened legal action or whatever they do. I don't know. Um but please remember those names. Alan Roy, claiming to be a Canadian representative agents, uh, revenue agency, and Andrew Gary, or Andrew Gray. It's one of those two. He may change his name again to, um, to try and scam people again, because once a scammer, always a scammer, unless you're going to have a real change of heart. Um, so that's about it, I guess. Um, just don't be fooled, people. Don't be fooled. I've never been fooled by any other scammers, and I've come across a few of them in a, in a Facebook situation. I've come across a scammer, and I abused the egg out of him. Um, he was trying to get money out of me. And the way that one was done was really bizarre. Um, I started to question things when he was asking for money to come over here and present me with the prize. That's when I clicked. Okay, you you wouldn't be doing that. You can send me the check in the mail. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that was some Facebook guy. I sent a message to Facebook and let them know this guy was doing this and portraying himself out to be one of their officials. Um, and the person that put me onto that person disappeared because they claimed they were a friend of my friend. And um, the friend they used was somebody that was very close to me. So I thought for that person to be a friend, they have to be pretty trustworthy. So that's how it started. Um, but this person disappeared within a couple of messages and I started to think, what's going on here? Um, and as I said, that one got, hopefully got dealt to. I never saw, because the other thing about that too, I checked out his account and I checked out his Facebook. I think, I said, good grief, you must be um, schizophrenic because you've got two personalities here. You start off like this executive you know, picture of yourself, all la -di da talk until you get down to the real the real person they take took the account off. And it was totally different <laughs> <laughs> so like I said sometimes you've really got to go in and investigate it um, to, to make sure you don't get scammed I hope nobody gets scammed it's not a nice as I say it's not nice it does hurt you and it hurts your emotional and as you know it hurts you emotionally as well because how could I have been so stupid um, but I just hope nobody ever gets this problem it, I wouldn't wish it upon anybody I know there are people that have lost a lot more than I have um, through other ways of scamming people. My friend lost some money um, in a similar situation. She got a sent a message from one of these, uh, from the Reader's Digest, which is a well-known company, etc., etc. 
they asked for her bank account details to put the prize money into, and that's when she re suddenly she just thought, oh, okay, um, and she gave them her account details, not thinking, because it looked all very official, and gave their account details, and they took money out of her account. So it's it's not nice, and it's not an easy thing to go through. And for her, she was retired at the time. She didn't have a lot of money, and they took it off her. It's it's sickening. It really is sickening, you know. Like I said, they don't know what the person on the other end of the scam is is going through. They don't know what the person on the other scam scam's financial situation is. They don't give a crap. And for all those scammers, if you are watching this video, I hope fate turns the turns the tables on you and you get what for. I really do. I don't like scammers whatsoever of any type. Um, yeah. So this is the only scam I ever hope I will fall for. I hope I never fall for any more and I hope I'm not silly enough to do it again. <laughs> but yeah, um, as I said, I've got evidence. If you want to show me to show you evidence, I can show you some of the evidence I've still got in my email account and stuff like that. Um, actually, come to think of it, let's, let's go into that, shall we? I'll just go in my phone. Because I did keep it, but I might have got rid of it because I got fed up with looking at it. Who knows? Um, we'll just have a quick look and see if I can find them. Right down to the bottom. Here we go. Here's, here's Alan. Now, from the desk of Alan Roy. See, there it is there. Canadian Revenue Agency. And there's his email. So that's his email. You are partaking as a co-explorer schedules in Auckland, New Zealand. As a junction was left to be taken care of before Mr. Mossad, you can come to Auckland. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we've been informed by Mr. So Mossad's management in Ottawa, Canada, that the video collaboration that you'll be partaking in as the co-explorer co scheduled um, as a chance left to take care of before Mr. Sage can come, Auckland is, is the Confirmation Ottawa Taxation Code, COT. Confirmation Ottawa Taxation. I don't, as I said, at that, this thing going on, I don't know what American law, uh, Canadian laws are. How am I supposed to? It looked official. Which is the fee that you are to send to us today, and a COT receipt will be rewarded, reforded to you with the amount paid in your name and residential address. I don't know if I even got that. Um, Yeah, send 950 New Zealand dollars. See it? Right there. Um, and swiftly on Monday so that we can round up and include the dealings regarding Mr. Mosaji films and, and videos collaborations with you. Like I said, I was green. I didn't know. And it all looked official. Um, so that was that. See, so I was sending STEM, STEM cards. You can see it there. Okay. Um, I got quite angry with them at one stage. You come up with payments on serious demand with lack of communication. <laughs> And that's the truth of it. Yeah, they got to a bit of an attitude there. Um, there's 32 emails. It's just non-stop. Um, I wish I could find the... F Hello, Dalwin. Hello. You should go message Andrew Gary and he will be in charge to send back your money. This is me trying to get a refund back off them and I never did. Um, I was so annoyed. I, I tried. I did try, thinking, oh, maybe they are feeling a bit guilty and trying to get money from me. But it didn't happen. As we thought it might not. This is when I thought, right, that's it. I've had a guts fall. Let's send this all off to Mo and hopefully Mo can sort them out or find out who they are. They've got, like I said, he's got a lot more clout than I have. He can go to lawyers. He can go to, you know, people. 
and get his money back. I don't have much here in New Zealand that I can go to, um, apart from the police. Um, I think that was about it, but there's about 32 here. I wish I could find, I would love to find out the fine. January, this is all in January. Yeah. Yeah, so that was January. I can't find anything before then. So that's, his, that's the hang, Hangouts face he was using. You can just see it in the circle there. That's the Hangouts face he uses. And that's what he said to me. You should go message Andrew Gary. will ch charge to send. He will be in charge to send back your money. <laughs> Laugh a minute. I got angry and I said, oh, you seem to really believe you are the real Mosaji. What fantasy land do you live in? You are not and you fail to prove, produce proof of who you are or know that you, what you say here is different to what you say on your videos. You are Andrew Gary. You are Alan Roy from Can Canadian Revenue Agency. So why lie or try to keep up the charade? Mo does not even talk how you write. Like I said my legal team is now going to deal with you. I didn't get on to that. I was just hoping I might be able to persuade them to refund the money. But, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what sort of fantasy land do you live in where you think you really are, Mo? But, um, as I say, on Hangouts, I don't think I've got it on here anymore. Um, I do have it. I could not find the real Mosaji. Uh, let's just see if we can. We might be able to. Here we are. We found him. He must be still on there. Um, so we'll go right back to the beginning. He is still on there. Or his, his record of stuff is on there. I'll go right back to the beginning. Of when he started. Let's see if we can find it. I shared a lot of stuff, nice stuff with him, like the New Zealand Christmas tree with Bahutakawa. Some really nice things to him. Got to go right back. It's coming back now. We're going back into November, so that shows you how long ago it was. Come on, oh, no, show these people what you really, who you really are. <laughs> Here we go. Let's chat on Hangouts. 30, 31st of October. I was right. It did start in October. Uh, I'm sorry, but it was hard to believe that you have grandkids. Um, awesome, that's great to know, Dion. I want to know you to know that I am so very impressed with your drive and determination as an explorer. This is where he manipulates you. Hi Dan, it's also great to hearing from you. I so much thank and appreciate you for your awesome messages, also for telling me more about yourself and what you do. Just to know you're better, I say that was so sweet and thoughtful of you. I am so impressed with your drive and determination repeating himself again. I am so sure and certain that after this validity crap, you will be very famous and wealthy because you've got great potential and gift, gifted talent to, to be great as an explorer. This is not my Saji. This is just a, neat, a little scumbag that thinks he can manipulate people. See the words? He repeated himself twice on, uh, what was that area? Your drive and determination. So he's manipulating things he thinks he knows about me to, to his advantage. And he keeps up a friendly facade. 
I am so sorry, I do not talk to you often because I have very busy since my birthday and vacations here in the USA. I mean, you're not in the USA, you're in Canada. Okay, so your message regarding what my management told you to pay before a date can be fixed on my coming and I feel sorry for you for what you're passing through financially because you have been an awesome and amazing friend. It would cost me $674 and like I said, it just kept going on and adding up after that. So he was very friendly on there. I sent him a few nice things. To me, I had it all planned out that when he came, this is how I planned out to show him respect for coming over here because I believed it was the real person at that time. I was organising a hangi, a hangi, sorry, a haka over here to welcome him into the country. I bought a putu, which is a beautiful Maori um, greenstone. I now wear myself. Um, I haven't got it out here with me. Um, it's shaped, for those that don't know what New Zealand um, things look like. So anyway, I'm not going to go back to this hangout page. Um, I'll see if I can just bring quickly up a picture of a putu. Okay, that's the best way I can show you what it looks like, and it's made with greenstone, it's very expensive. Um, that cost me well over a hundred dollars to, 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 I was going to give it to him as a gift for coming to New Zealand. Um, so it sits on you like that, and it's about that size, so it's quite a large one. That's for those that don't know New Zealand Mary carvings, and I wear it now as a sign of I've got this now, and it's mine. And it's my protection. It's not my total protection. It's just a protection stone for me. So yeah. Anyway, and as I say, I was going to, I was trying to organise a haka so that would welcome him into the country. This guy, if if it was a real one, that would have been a real sign sign of respect to him. But the the real one didn't get it, and I'm glad he didn't get it because he missed out on something really nice. And he missed out on a nice um, welcome and a nice respectful welcome. So, poo to you. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is the things I did, and um, I had all. I was going to take them on about six different haunted locations. I was working on. I have been to one of them, I think, um, this year. Sorry, before COVID broke broke out. Um, so it was interesting. Anyway, as I say, I'm not going to go on any more longer, but please don't be fooled by these idiots that think they are they can portray themselves out and get money out of you. If you think you're being fooled by somebody or they're trying to get thing, money out of you, I would send a message in capital letters to the official person and let them deal with it because, like I said, they've got more clout than we do as, as fans. Um... They, they, these people can actually be had up for so much, <laughs> apart from from the scam, they can be actually held, held up for portraying themselves out to be somebody they're not, um, which is fraud, fake, and, and fraud, and all that sort of thing. So, like I said, I hope the person that tried that did this to me did get, end up getting what they deserve. I really do. And I won't be fooled again. I know exactly what I'm looking for now. And, um, yeah, I think the last message I've ever sent to this person, let's see if I can find it again. I said, you see, from what my daughter sent them, actually, because... So, have you sent the $950 to the Canadian Revenue Agency? I think that would have been my last figure. Okay, right. 
And then there was another 750 on top of that. Yep, yeah, that's right. And he was trying to say, oh, we're this close to doing the video clip. So he was trying to get me to really go along with it. Um, <laughs> you, <laughs> I know and understand that you're not happy, but you need to know that my management are doing the best of their ability and making sure that this video clip is a real major success. Where's my daughter's one? Seven hundred and fifty again. Uh, don't know why they asked me where I get my stems from. I'm not quite sure why. Um, I'm trying to find out. Yeah, my daughter cat came and ran back here. Yeah, my daughter came in here. Um, I've just been made of aware of some things that by my daughter. This is what I started to have a conversation with them. If this is you, Mo, give me some proof of ID, etc. If re it really is you, sorry to ask. It's just things aren't going the way I thought they would. And it's scary that I've put so much money into this. And you said that you don't ask for STEM cards, money, etc. This is what Mo's video was on at the time. And this is around about 16th of January. Dear one. Our wrong assessment and accusation towards me said and you came to this without doing a proper research on your findings and I'm sure you only spoke with one or two haters that have nothing good about what I stand for in my person. He, 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 what person? Um, it's mandatory you do a proper research before passing judgments on persons that have worked so hard to get to their present status and have awesome brands around the world. Yeah, right. Don't know why he sent me. Oh, I sent him the video that um, Mo sent out, I think. That my tweet, and I never made mention of STEM gift cards. I never ask anyone not to send STEM cards. I am so sad and disappointed with your accusations. <laughs> my, I think my daughter started to come in here. Um, I'm not sure because she was diving in as me. I wasn't accusing you. My daughter watched some of your videos and saw you mention that you don't ask for fans for STEM cards or money. Also that you weren't travelling because Shadia is pregnant. She's concerned I'm getting scammed. That this that was all. I didn't mean to offend you. I know that would be me, I think. Um, I take people on face value and my daughter's sceptical so she did not start research and brought the fact you don't ask for STEM cards to my attention. Your booking agency asked me for STEM cards. That's why I was asking for some kind of assurance that it was you. I haven't posted this out publicly because I want to make sure I have correct information. I came to you because I'd rather ask you straight out than make accusations. So I was actually asking him to prove who he was. And I, and we sent him a copy of thinking of crossing into the USA next week to film some videos. Tag a YouTuber you want me to film with. That was Mo himself. That was the official Mo. Um, and, it, and I said to him, your booking agency said you were coming over on the week to New Zealand. And uh, that's what you're saying there. Del, and I understand how you feel. I want you to know that your daughter's actually and sword me are so wrong. This is the beginning of a year, and I know that Shadia is pregnant and expecting our first child. But that those non-stop, that does not stop me from doing my doing what I love doing, exploring the haunted place, also travelling, come to see you in New Zealand. My management are having some logistic problems regarding my long flight, and they're going to be back to you immediately they have done. So he just keeps putting me off. Darwin, you have been an awesome and amazing friend, and I'm not going to do anything that will tarnish our friendship. Yeah, right. Just that I am thinking that you're listening more to your daughter's allegations and accusations, which makes me really sad. We went on and we went on and we went on. 
I understand you've put so much money and energy into this video, Claire, but I want you to know that I am giving you my word and promise regarding my coming to New Zealand. You're trying to fool. I just got sick of this. And our takes right now that I will be coming to New Zealand immediately, I've done with my USA trip. So he tried to con me out of that one. So he, he talks, um, Delwyn, but sincerely speaking, I have always seen you as some that good, that got great potentials, see potentials, no, he doesn't say that, and gifted talent, to do very well as an explorer and YouTuber, but it seems to me you do not know what you have. You have been such an awesome and honest friend to me, that I sincerely think that someone is trying to discourage you from your dreams in exploring and YouTube. No, she wasn't. They're not trying to discourage me. She just doesn't want me to have be scammed. Hello, dear. Now, I've never heard Mo use that term before. <laughs> you have to know that New Zealand is not USA, that when you order a merch from me and you get that within a month, and there's no way that comes from the USA in a month, I'm telling you now. New Zealand is such a distance, and I can assure you that you're going to get your T-shirt any moment from now, and please let me know. Yeah, I didn't get it because it was a scam. If you are good at something, no matter what it is, to use your bunch of seed. Um, yeah. Yeah, and he keeps going, I've spoken to them, I've spoken to them. Oh, and then he comes out with this one. Please do not send any more money to my management. I am not really happy with them right now. Hello, dear. I am trying to... <laughs> This hello dear is not Mo. He doesn't talk like that. Hello dear, I'm just trying to protect you as a friend because you have been great and awesome to me. You're right. Anyway, wow, really. Um, yeah, and then I think my daughter got jumped in here and this is the 4th of February. Yeah, okay. As you say, check who I am, and that is me. So I'd like a copy of your ID, please. If you are Mo, you won't mind doing this. If not, then you are have performed a very elaborate scam. And believe me, your your ass is mine. <laughs> that's, that's my daughter. Your ass is mine, and so it is for me. To he, to he's coming after you. If you are the real deal, prove it, and and I'll apologise. Wow, re and this will have response. Well, really? But I already told you that I'm angry with my management. So what the hell are you talking about? Show me your ID. Prove who you are. This is, that. This is my daughter. I'm disappointed in you right now. No one has joined your call. Um, I told you I was very, very angry with my management. You're still insult insulting and accusing me wrongly. So am I. I would like to see your ID. You should understand this after the video you just put out. This is one that I put out um, back in February. It's so sad, he says. Stop with the emotional blackmail and bullshit. Just send a picture of your driver's license or passport so I know it's the real Mosaji. You also said you don't have a management team, so until I see Canadian identification that you are who you say you are, I will be putting all hangout messages and emails out for the world to see or answer my FaceTime call so I can see it to you. So he did none of these. Um, we called him, called him. You're making me really sad, I swear. I even messaged you to tell you that I'm angry with me. So he just goes going back to his management team. And so are you. Answer the FaceTime call. I won't I won't very scammed anywhere anymore. I won't be scammed anymore. You're scammed me out of thousands of dollars and now I want ID, please, or answer the call. And you still have insulting me. The management team you don't have. I am not a scammer. He's still trying to portray it. Send me some ID, please. Stop this shit. Stop it, stop it now. <laughs> She's very, really strong, my daughter. Stop scamming people and show me who you really are. Say you are now. Really? Bite mode out. Yes, really. You should understand why I'm asking after the video you just put out. With the exact comment, I don't ask to collab or ask you to, to fund collabs. And we sent him a copy of that. Um, I've just informed my legal team of your threat. We are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a threat. It's exposure for the scam artist you are. Prove your most sadly. This is my daughter. Now, 
That's all you have to do is send me a photo of your Canadian passport or your driver's license, but instead you try to manipulate the situation and suit your elaborate scam. Or you, you could have answered my FaceTime call if I'm such a good friend. You just ang you're just angry because I know what you're doing and you've been snapped out. I have all emails and messages and they will all be in the video too. Why don't you just prove who you are? You go do what you want. Bye. You just do what you want. Listen, You won't listen to me. Mo out. Yeah, that's what I thought. You are not Mo Saji. BTW, I will be tagging the real Mo Saji in my video so he can see it too. BTW, you're talking to Dalwyn's daughter, not Dalwyn. I watch way too many Mo Saji videos to know that you are not Mo Saji. What's your real name? Because I know what's your your real first name is so what's your name because she, she's investigated it i told you immediately yesterday not to have anything to do with my management team anymore because i care about you you were right it's just just a load of crap all over again and then we get um you still not have you still not have given me proof you're my saji because you refuse to calm down laugh out loud that was nothing to do with it if you are who you say you are who you claim to be, you can show me. So we try face calling them again. You're so full of it. You are not most, and then she put it in capital letters. You are not most, Saji. And to use the word friend, you have no friend idea what a friend is. I don't think you have any friends. Don't shit on friends. Friends don't shit on friends. You have 12 hours now to give me a refund or you'll be made known in several areas. Really? Yep, really. You are a scumbag. What a life you have ripping others off. No positive. And, oh yeah, this is me coming back to him. And I said, payback's a bitch. You're getting everything wrong. I swear I will show you proof soon. You know how I'm not kidding with you. <laughs> he still wouldn't. I await your proof. I'm about to put the video up, so I will wait. Really? Del one, I just want you to know that I'm for great respect for your awesome personality. Yeah, right, never. Um, if you are who you say you are, why not FaceTime it? And it'll prove who you are. I'm if if I'm such a great friend to prove it, FaceTime with me and if you are most saggy, I'll apologise on the Facebook time. Call. I was never aggravated. You refuse to show proof of who you are. You refuse my FaceTime calls. So now I don't want your fake ID. I want a FaceTime call with you. That's the only proof that I'll accept. The fact that you keep saying you care about me as a friend and respect me as empty words when you don't you cannot prove it. I just want factual evidence that you are most saji now if you didn't respect and care about me so much you wouldn't have any problems doing that considering the video you put up contradicts everything you said to date you cannot boss me around <laughs> seriously you cannot boss me yeah i just it just went on and on and on and amber gave up in the end she said oh, i can't be bothered with it stupid idiot um and then I ended up, on the 2nd of July, I ended up saying to him, because I wasn't going any further, I just came back to him a, bit, a few times. Man, you are a tryhard. Why don't you admit you've been caught out? You are not Mosaji, or you would be over here as planned. And I never got a response back to that. Yeah, and I said, um, he... I made mention of my trip to New Zealand. He didn't, never did it. Simple crap. You watched it. But you just trying to be an, a hater. Yes. Start with Bull. I would like my money back in New Zealand on PayPal. Your so-called Gmail booking team don't respond, so it's bullshit. No, it's not. You're full of doubts. He's still trying to claim. I still can't believe after all this time, he's still trying to claim he is Mosaji. And... As I said, I never got a response back after I sent the last uh, thing to him on July. Nothing, zilch, nutter. So you can see, I've, I've got the proof there. I've shown you. I've shown you the um, hangouts we talked about. I've shown you the Gmails. Zilch, nutter, zilch. Scammer, scammer, scammer. So just watch this person if he ever shows up on your... Um, messages and check and check and double check it's mo because it's not i don't i don't think i don't i've never had a res personal response from mo i don't think he will um he may do to some people but he doesn't respond to everybody because he's got too many of us on here to respond to personally he may pick out one or two but yeah 
and he like he said he doesn't ask for money he doesn't need it and um and he certainly doesn't collab well not over anywhere else in, in other countries anyway um it was interesting to hear from uh i was watching jody on hunting the dead today and hearing why he doesn't travel overseas because i've often wondered why some of them don't come overseas um and Jody said it's because he gets motion sickness, and that's not nice. I've had vertigo, and that's horrible. And I'd probably imagine, imagine that would be very similar, um, which is sad. But I'd hope to one day get to America and maybe, maybe meet up with some of these people that I admire as YouTubers. It'd be lovely just to meet them all personally and talk about you know, their experiences and how where they got to. Don't have to have, have a collab. I'd just love to meet them in person. And have a conversation with them because they're so full of it you know experience anyway that's all for now please like i said please don't get scammed like i did it's not nice um i did start this video back quite a while ago i did a video of this a while ago uh, when it first happened and i was quite emotional in that one where i was actually crying i'm i'm all down down the track from it now so it's not affecting me quite as emotionally as it was at that time but I was I could hardly talk in some of the talk, times that I was talking um, yeah anyway love you all heaps my subscribers love you all and it's a big hello and I hope none of you ever go down this road either um, yeah <laughs> what can you say what more can you say like subscribe and don't forget um to hit the bell so you get more notifications i am uploading some more stuff um uh towards the end of the week i think this one's going up for two